All right, hello everyone. Well, my name is Purcell, and you're watching this video because I've been having some power wall issues since July 18th, 2024. That was the day that somehow we lost power or we had a surge in our community that made my power wall drop to offline, offline status. And it's been offline since July 18th. And today it is November 15th. Four months that I have called Tesla and I've documented all of this on my YouTube channel. Four months it took me to finally get someone to come out here to address my issues. They tried to do it from Las Vegas. They had me to do stuff here uh, in, in front of the gateway. They had me to do stuff downstairs with the power wall. I bought some uh, power connectors that was at the end of the day. I don't know if that's going to work, but I'm hoping to get either uh, a new gateway or some type of resolution, res resolution, I'm sorry, of, of getting this thing fixed. So if, if anything, if anything, it should be working by the time this day is over. Now I got promised my initial scheduled appointment was for 7 a.m until one and you can obviously see it is not in the morning it is in the afternoon one o'clock rolled around nobody called and then i got a text message about two o'clock saying that the tesla person would be here between three and eight p.m <laughs> i'm telling you man you cannot make this stuff up all right so here we are at the gateway now, I'm not going to get my man face in here, but he's a Baltimore Raven fan and I'm a Steeler fan. So, you know, we, we friendly lines for right now. Why we video, <laughs> we might be at a tooth and nail once I stop this video. Okay, so he has expertly figured out my problem and it was so simple. Inside the house, we had two power adapters, correct? It was yes, that the thing? Two power line adapters. Po po power line adapters that were one that was going into my uh, Wi-Fi and then the other one was coming straight to here to the gateway. And as luck would have it, he said, get rid of that crap. <laughs> Just plug it straight into the um, into my Verizon router. Router, router. router yes. And I said, Wi-Fi. Now, say router. one thing we don't, we still really don't have the Ethernet connected. We're connected via Wi-Fi. Okay, so, okay. so I've been connected via Wi-Fi since I connected to it. Okay. So since I've been on site. Right. And I logged in. And remember you said, oh, you ain't going to be able to. Yeah, right. It connected. It connected. It connected. Once I was able to connect and I got the three, the three greens, right. we was connected to Tesla um, servers. Yeah. I was able to get, um, a, do a firmware update. So but, the firmware update is done. Okay. Um, we're still connected via Wi-Fi. Right now, I'm just trying to see if I can get the Ethernet connected. Okay. So with all that being said, I can see the Powerwall status on my phone now. Right. So we're connected. So when are we going to make this uh, project connected to ethernet and what you're gonna have to do to to make now, that that's happen. what i'm gonna find out now too because um right now i look like i'm gonna have to configure it so i gotta figure out Ooh. how to configure this ip address subnet mask and gateway i gotta okay. figure that out so all right <laughs> basically when it comes to communication yes uh, i got like i like to tell homeowners don't get communications with whether your system works or not okay more than likely more than likely i would say your system is probably still doing what it's supposed to be doing mm -hmm. in the background. Mm -hmm. You just can't see it because mm -hmm. the app or the communications has dropped out. Right. So you can't see it. So at thus the you don't have a screen. Yet. Whereas if right. you, if there was a screen on the front of it, right. You if the Wi-Fi would have dropped out, yeah. you could come out here, check the screen, right. and you would see your system is still working. Right. Like a lot of older inverters, they had a screen. Mm -hmm. And like even with um, some of the inverters we deal with, they have a screen. So if communications drop out, you can right. always go outside, okay. look at the score down in the basement. To see if it's... Right. Look at the screen and you can tell your system is still producing. Got so. it. All right. But um, yeah, that's the thing about communications. Doesn't mean your system is not working. It's still probably doing what it's supposed to be doing. But to me, it wasn't working since July. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I, and I can understand that. Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. see it. You can't doing. see it. Yeah, right. When you can't see it, you. you and you can't control it. Right. You can't do nothing to you sell. You can't do nothing. Look at a dead exactly. screen. Yeah, okay, right. gotcha. And then you, you can't tell if it is working or not. That's right. So. All right, so we're gonna wait here for a few seconds. We have now found the issue. 
We went to static. Okay, wait a minute. And then this. he's gonna push this button here. And now, because he pushed this button here, we are. I bet you have another page to show me. It's going to. It's going to take do it. Up, okay. But All it right. should configure. It's going to configure in a few minutes. All right. So the issue is, it was a. Can't see that. There we go, right there. We are connected. So. I don't want to get my IP address and all that stuff in here, but it is now connected. And what you see is basically this Ethernet head. Maybe both of them are bad. And so since they are bad, I can't get the backup for the Wi-Fi. So now I'm exclusively on Wi-Fi. And then if I get, if I call the electricians, they can come back and fix this. And so I can have Ethernet as the main backup as a Wi-Fi. Am I saying that right, Mr. Yes, uh, Tesla man? Yes, okay. Yes. Ah, okay. So for now, good news, it works. Uh, bad news, I got to get a guy to come back out. He shouldn't charge me anything because they just need to change the heads. And then once he changed the heads, we can plug it straight in. And then should be I, able to. But I don't need to call you out to to verify. And if he plug it, if he redo the heads, yeah. and it still do the same thing, right? He probably gonna have to redo it again. Okay, so how would I know that? I have to look at my phone. <laughs> I would, uh, if it don't, if you if you can't connect via Ethernet. Yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but one thing, one good thing is you're connected via Wi-Fi. Yeah, but I don't want that now. I know. Because <laughs> I'm having, I'm having Wi-Fi issues. All the Wi-Fi is working. I'm having Wi-Fi issues. All right, so he ran this long cable from the back of my... Uh, Verizon wife uh, box to the uh, I, I'm just I, okay first it's working but it's just like wind is just taken out of my body because yet again I got to be getting another I got to get the electrician out here to change the heads on the Ethernet god darn it I thought we was going to be good well we are good okay so that was rather chaotic uh, he pretty much made a quick assessment of what was wrong with the power wall. He had a two hour ride to go back home. The temperature started to drop quickly and he he did his stuff and he got out of here. So let me recap and because this has been going on for four months. One, he came in and reconfigured the gateway. Now, many episodes ago, I've done what five this will be my fifth and last series on this power wall. But I think on episode one or two, the Tesla folks online was actually telling me how to do that. And then I couldn't understand it. And then I called them in person and whatever it was, it just did not want to connect or work. And then right after that, it was recommended to update software. And so obviously software additions come and go and my power wall hasn't been updated lately maybe because I have a version two power wall. And then the third thing was the ethernet head. Now, one of the things that I wanted to get done was not to be on Wi-Fi. I really wanted to be on ethernet. And that blue cable right here that I'm pointing to is actually coming out of the back of my router and is going all the way over <laughs> is Amazon Prime truck. Um, on the back of the wall, is where my sorry if i'm moving too fast i'm expecting the package by the way uh, so on the back of that wall that i'm pointing to is where my gateway is so we ran ethernet and we plugged the ethernet in directly from my router to the gateway and it didn't work so what he did was he went in his truck and he got a long white ethernet cable and he promptly plugged in the back of my router right into the gateway and it worked. So what he told me is that apparently when the electricians ran it, ran the wire, they didn't buy store-bought wire, you know, they bought a wire, but you know, you have to put this device on here. This is, you know, what everybody sees. This is what you connect to. And then apparently, you know, you have these small, finite lines. I'm sorry if it's bl blurry, but it's very fine. You know, you have green, yellow, black, blue tail. People what to do. I didn't mean that, but it rhymed. That's pretty sweet. Uh-huh. I told you I was waiting for a package. So I'm going to put this on pause and I'll be right back. So off she goes. Uh, she just told me an interesting story. This is her second Amazon truck. The first one, uh, 
had axle issues because it was going up steep hills uh, somewhere in the back part of our, our county. And she said that uh, because the hill is like this and it kind of drops down, then it goes right back up very steeply, uh, you had to floor it. And if not, you'll get stuck. And they had axle problems. So anyway, that was interesting. That's a side note. So getting back to the Ethernet cable, you have to make sure that um, this orange one or red one is in the right hole or whatever. And apparently, you know, it wasn't. Now. Good note is that my Powerwall is now back online. That's the takeaway. The Powerwall is back online and it's working and I can see it on my phone. As I stated in the video, i rather have it connected to Ethernet. So when the electricians come back out here, hopefully we can make that happen. Now, if not, yay, I, it will still work because I have the dreaded Wi-Fi, but I really want Ethernet to drive my power wall. And if you don't have that, I recommend you getting that. So let me give you some steps that I learned. And I've been a, a Tesla owner since 2015. I've been a power wall owner since 2016. The one thing I do, and sometimes it makes me not do but when i call people i try to make a little comedy out of it especially at the help desk and i'm sure that they are overworked and underpaid and some of them do have attitude but they are people just like us they are people too so my best advice is when you call them whether it's a power wall issue or whether it's a tesla car issue or solar panel issues I recommend you call them early in the morning. Wherever you live in the United States, call them early in the morning because hopefully you'll have someone that has just got up and enjoying their day instead of hearing 15 or 20 people yelling at them and they really don't want to hear it by the time you call. That's one of my recommendations. The second thing is if you're having power wall issues like me or even if you're having car issues and you don't feel that they're addressing them, as I said in my video before, be persistent be a professional persistent person, but don't be a pest, okay? I know you guys are busy, I know stuff happens, and I want my stuff to be working fine right now. And sometimes I just might have to accept the fact that it takes four months for them to come out here. But I was proficient, I was persistent and proficient, but I wasn't a pest. I wasn't calling them every day, but I was calling them at least once a week, just to let them know, hey, I'm here and my problem is not fixed. The biggest thing is, and the easiest thing is, always refer to YouTube. YouTube is the encyclopedia of knowledge for every single thing in the world. And if you're watching this video, first off, thank you for watching my video because I hopefully it will help someone somewhere down the line that is having the same issue that I have had. And if you have subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. Uh, I started this right during the pandemic. I have now over 300 videos on my channel. And I try to drop videos every Saturday morning, which I do, and I have been doing it for almost four years now. And I have over 6,000 subscribers. I would like to get to 10,000. I remember when I first started, I wanted to get to 100. Now I blew past that. And maybe 10,000 uh, subscribers will be, you know, another milestone. So thank you for watching this video. That is the end of the video. That is the end of this series. But I cover all EVs. And I probably will be call a recovering. <laughs> I probably will be covering someday in the future another Powerwall insane uh, install. Like one of my friends has seven Powerwalls in his garage, and you can search my YouTube channel and check that out. Seven Powerwalls in a townhome, and he has two Teslas. It's just amazing. He was working on getting two Cyber Trucks. I wonder if that happened. So again. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching. Please waste your time. This video should be for you if you have a power wall. And if you don't, thank you just watching in general. Peace and be kind to everyone. Deuces.